the deficit versus the debt. I see people confuse this a lot, and this is the kind of distinction. Uh, the deficit is a flow. It's what happens in a given year. Uh, the deficit right now is about one point three trillion dollars. That means the government is spending one point three trillion dollars more than it's taking in in tax revenue. That means that it will sell bonds, treasury bonds and bills and so forth, equal to one point three trillion dollars. At that point the debt, which is a stock, will go up by one point three trillion dollars. So we don't really have a deficit ceiling of what we can do in any given year. What we have is a debt ceiling. The stock of debt can't go above a certain level. When the government sells those bonds, who buys them? They're purchased by uh, households, in a sense, because the um, when you put money into any kind of an investment fund, that investment fund looking for short-term liquidity will buy some of those treasury bonds. Banks often buy treasury bonds. Often, I would say always, almost all banks have treasury bonds on the asset side of their balance sheet because, once again, it's safe and it's short-term liquidity. Foreigners buy a lot of those, and that's where we keep hearing about borrowing from China. We are borrowing from China because China is coming and buying those bonds. They've helped us finance our deficit over time. And then, of course, what has become controversial is that the Federal Reserve can buy those Treasury bonds. And when the Federal Reserve buys those Treasury bonds, then they're increasing the money supply. So we can always have the situation that the Federal Reserve can buy those bonds, but then the fear that we have is that if they buy too many of them, then we put too much money in the economy, too much money chasing too few goods, maybe that will result in inflation in the long run.